Hey, what's up, users? This is John from Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over the new update to the responsive lightbox gallery where I've introduced the RLG single widgets that allow you to open the lightbox gallery from a single image or element on your Adobe Muse website. Now, if you are using the 1.4 version of the gallery, um, you do not need to update. This is the, the update has been added uh, to introduce the RLG single widgets. Um, and if you haven't used the 1.4 version, you can just use the entire 1.5 version. So this is gonna be a quick video tutorial. I'm just gonna cover some of the main things to look out for when using the new RLG single widgets. So I'm gonna open up my Adobe Muse website and I'll go ahead and go to my library panel. If you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. And here I'm gonna type in RLG. So now we have all of the widgets that we're, we're used to seeing with the RLG widget, but at the bottom we have four new widgets and they're called RLG single. So just like you would with the thumbnail widgets or the lightbox gallery with the thumbnails, um, you're gonna click, hold and drag the RLG at first and place at the top of your Adobe Muse website. And then let's say I want the RLG single. I want to I want a lightbox gallery, but I want it to be triggered from a single element. So I'll just click, hold and drag the RLG single and place here onto my Adobe Muse website. And one of the main differences we'll notice is that the we have this trigger graphic style name. Now, this is the graphic style name you'll, you'll apply to the element that you want to trigger the lightbox. So for instance, the trigger graphic style name is trigger one. So all I have to do is create an element. So here I'll create a rectangle and I'll give it a color and I'll go, I'll click on the element and then I'll go to my graphic styles panel, <laughs> excuse me. Um, and then I'll create a new graphic styles. I'll zoom in here. Um, so you want to click on this little icon here to create a new graphic style. Then you'll want to double click on the graphic style and call it trigger one because that's the graphic style name that is in the widget. Um, if you don't see the graphic styles panel, you can go to window and click on graphic styles right here. Okay, so we've applied the graphic style name trigger one to this element. So now if we go to file, preview page and browser, if I click on this element, it opens the light box. It's just that simple. It's as easy as that. Just assign the graphic style name that's in the widget to the element on your Adobe Muse website. Then you can go into the widget and just like you would with the previous light box, you just add the images. So here I'm just gonna add a few images and I have some images here. So I'll just add some coffee images just like this. Very simple and just like that. Okay, and let's say I wanted more images. So here I have four images initially. I'll just change it to six. And one thing when you change the number of images, you'll, you'll also have to enable them. So let me just close these here. And if we go to image five, we notice that there's this enable option here. We have to have that checked. So this is a very important step. Otherwise the image will not show. So you wanna make sure that the enable button is, is clicked for the images. Um, initially, one through four is already enabled, but if you want more than four images, just go through and enable them and change the number of images here as well. Um, so here I'll go to add file and I'll add a few more images just like that. Okay, so I'll go to file preview page in browser. I'll click on the light box. And just like that, we have the light box gallery. Looks good. I think I added the same image here twice. So let's go back to five and we'll pick a new image here. And let's say for instance, I were to uncheck image six, we're gonna notice that it doesn't show in the light box. So we just have five images there instead of six. So you're probably wondering why, you know, I left the select number of images. I just thought it would be useful so that when you're working with the widget, you for yourself know how many images you want for that light box. And it's just a little reference there. So if I have eight, I just wanna make sure that one through eight is enabled just like that. And I can add more images. So we wanna make sure that this enabled option is here when adding more images. All right, so those are the big things with the light box. It's, it's the graphic style name and making sure that uh, the enable option is checked for the images that you want to show up in the light box. Um, it's just that simple. So I think I've covered everything. Um, if there are mul multiple lightbox galleries on one page, all of the gall galleries will inherit the styling of the lightbox gallery for this down the page. So if you have multiple, the lightbox gallery that is, is, is down the page will inherit all the lightbox styling here. All right, so 
there we have that. Um, I'll go ahead and bring in another Lightbox gallery just for fun. So I'll go into the library panel and I'll just type in RLG single because I know I'm going to use a single widget and I'll bring in some YouTube and Vimeo videos just like that. So there we have the images one and we have the YouTube and Vimeo video. So here, if I want to add another Lightbox gallery, I'll just have to change the trigger graphic style name. So I'll say trigger two and then I'll just create another element and we'll just do green, click on the element, go to the graphic styles panel, create a new graphic style, double click and call this trigger two. Okay, now this will trigger this, this uh, light box here. So I'll click and there we have the YouTube videos. Perfect. Looks good. And I'll add the icon. So I'll go to file, add files for upload. Then I'll go into the, the widget folder. I'll click on the fonts folder and select these four icons here or these four files here. Click open and just like that, I have the icons for the Lightbox gallery. Looks good. And I'll do, um, I'll add the 180 hover box because that's what I added for the preview page. If you notice, if I go to the preview page and I'll click on the pop up and here we have the Lightbox gallery. If we go to preview RLG single, I've added the 180 degrees hover box widget. And then when you click on the widget, it goes uh, to the Lightbox. So that's very simple to do here as well. So we'll just go into the library panel. So if I go to my library panel and I type in 180, we have the 180 text reveal hover box widget. Just place it in there, click add file. And then I have some square images in here and we'll just add uh, any image here. So we'll do this camera here and we have the image there. Then I'll go in and I'll add some text. So we'll say camera collection and we'll say various images of a camera, of cameras. Okay, perfect. And there we go. I'll make this a bit larger, maybe 350 by 350, just like that. I wanna constrain that as well there. And then I'll preview. And at first, if I click, nothing happens. So what we need to do is assign the graphic style name to this widget here. So I'll go into the graphic styles and I'll say trigger one. Okay. And then I'll preview in the browser. And just like that, if I click, it'll take me to the light box. Looks good. Okay. And we could take off this fill in the back so it doesn't interfere with the colors of the widget. Looks good. So it's very simple. Uh, one thing when working with hover boxes, uh, just make sure that the link here um, doesn't have a hash or isn't just a hashtag because it'll bring you back to the top of the website. So you want to say something like hashtag open or use an anchor that you know you're not going to use on your website. So here I can use hashtag open and it won't bring me back to the top. So if I bring it down here, if the the light box or the hover widget is down here, it won't bring me back to the top of the website. So I'll scroll and then I can click read more. And just like that, we have the light box gallery. So I can kind of change the text here a bit more too. I can say for the link button text, I can say view gallery, change the font size. And if I, if I want to change the text inside of the hover box, I'll just click on the hover box, go into the text option, and I'll say Lotto, just like that. And I'll preview. We scroll, we see the font has changed, and I'll bring in the font smoother as well. I like some smooth fonts. Just bring that in there. And just like that, we'll have some smoother fonts on the website. All right, looks good. We have camera collection, various images of cameras, view gallery. Um, this is more like a coffee collection actually. Uh, so here we have images of coffee. So let me just go ahead and change that one more time. So I'll go to text, coffee collection, various images of coffee. And then we'll change the image to coffee. Uh, yeah, right there. 
It looks good. I'll bring this back up. All right. Looks good. We have the coffee, we have the thumbnails, and we have the light box gallery. And all the styling can be changed just like in the previous versions. Um, again, if you do have the 1.4 version with thumbnails on your website, you do not need to update. Um, but if you don't have the 1.4 version, you can just use the 1.5 version um, that has the RLG single widgets included as well. Um, so that's it. I think I've covered all the main points. Um, I know I went fairly quickly. I just wanted to do a quick video tutorial on this new update. Um, I just released it, so I wanted to cover any questions uh, that might come up with the widget. Um, if you do have any more questions or any other questions regarding the widget, uh, you can leave it in the comment section below or in the community section on the widget page. Um, to get access to the to the responsive light box gallery, you simply go to muse for you, muse for you shop .com, and here you can click on the pop up, and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for thirty nine a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. The responsive light box gallery widget is right here, and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually, or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Here are the features included, a few of the widget options, uh, the change log, uh, the preview pages, so here we have the preview, the RLG single, so if you wanted to take a look at that, and we have the, the, the light box with the thumbnails as well. And here we have a few video tutorials. Um, this will still apply for the 1.5 version as well for the light box with thumbnails. Um, and then I'll have this video here as well for the RLG single widgets. And here's the community section if you had any questions about the widget as well. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. So if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.